Hello, and welcome to my first attempt at uh, beating Sonic 2 as a Let's Play uh, here on the PS4 Sega Genesis Classics game, which uh, I just found out has really intense fucking input lag. Um, luckily, this is not like the most input or execution heavy game in the world. I mean, it, you know, it's kind of execution heavy actually, but it is what it is. Um, because I can only record an hour at a time, because uh, I'm recording on PS4, I'm going to have to try and not be uh, super slow about it, which is obviously fine since it, I'm Sonic. i got to go fast. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll see how I do. Um, generally, like I would say I have about a 50% complete rate of this game. Maybe not quite 50%. At my best, I was probably 50% or maybe a little higher. Am I about to die? Nope. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes with this input lag. I mean, it's the kind of thing that you somewhat adjust to eventually. But yeah, but because I only have an hour to record, and I would prefer this all to be one video without having to stitch it together on my laptop that has a hard time uh, running DaVinci Resolve, uh, I'm going to try and complete this motherfucker in an hour. So I'm going to go a little bit faster than usual, but it shouldn't screw me up too much since, you know... You, oh. Since you only have to have one ring to live. Fuck that fish. That fish is a piece of shit. Everybody knows about that fish. It's a fucking huge piece of shit, so go die, fish. Yeah, of course, it dodged me. It knew I was coming. Didn't want to die. Whatever. Okay. Um, yeah, so how's it going, everybody? My name is Eric McLennan, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Everything tends to go worse when you're rushing something. You ever notice that? I mean, one, when the pressure is on you when you're doing it, like, publicly in front of people. Oh my god, what is that? How do you fucking design this horse shit, Sega? Like... Okay. Yeah, so, but whatever. I mean, Sonic the Hedgehog 2 is fun for me. This is a game... Uh, I never, like, had a Sega back in the day. Um... You know, in the 90s, I had a, I had an NES kind of late to the party when other people had Super NESs. And then... Oh yeah, I forgot. I can... Where is it? Here? Oh, don't do that. Yeah, I'm not a, an expert at this game by a long shot, but I'm decent at it. Anyway, this is a game back, like, in my late teens, I had it on the Sega Genesis collection, and I got to kind of catch up on, on some of these old Sega games. Uh, and that's when I would play this game, like, every day, and... Uh, just keep running through it until eventually I was able to beat it. It's got some pretty hard parts in it. Probably I shouldn't come across any... super heavy sticking points, hopefully until Wing Fortress Zone. I mean, hopefully I don't have any, you know, sticking points at all. Hopefully I just kind of breeze smoothly through this all, and then I'm able to take out, uh... Fuckface McGee at the end there. His giant red robot. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. But uh, I'll, I'll try and be entertaining and perhaps informative regardless. As usual when I play games. Um, so that... So that this has value. Even if I... Uh, even if I fucking eat the big one and run out of... Um, continues. But yeah, this is a really fun game. So yeah, I never had a, a Sega Genesis. I, I had like an NES kind of late when other people had a Super NES, but I didn't really know any better at the time, obviously. And, you know, I was back then and still I'm very grateful to my parents for um, buying me uh, the NES that they bought me for Christmas the one year. I had, uh, honestly, I had a lot of good games. I had, um, oh god, what did I have? I had Yoshi the Puzzle Game. I had Super Mario Bros. 1, 2, and 3. I had Ninja Gaiden 2, I had Battletoads, I had Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, so, like, my parents were pretty good at picking games that, like, even all these years later, turn out to be, like, certified, you know, club, uh, bangers, certified hood classics. <laughs> um, but yeah, never had a Sega Genesis, but, you know, would, would play this, and Sonic 3, and... Uh, Mutant League Football, and Columns, and Earthworm Gym, and stuff at other people's houses. Oh my lord. Um, so when I got the chance, having a GameCube, to play Sonic Mega Collection, uh, I played the crap out of these games, but... Like, most of the other games I, like, played through once and beat them. This game, 
I played through over and over. This game is a game to me like Super Mario World, like Mega Man X, Mega Man X2, Super Mario 64, uh, where I can just play through it like once a day and it's not boring. It's just always fun. Uh, yeah, so let's do this. This this level, I feel like, is a sticking point um, for every like 90s kid. Unless you were one of those kids that was just like really good at video games even when you were young. Like, for me, uh, you know, I'm 38 now. Uh, I w honestly wouldn't say I was good at video games until I was like, shit. Uh, until I was I into my teenage years, for sure. Before then, I was kind of just on autopilot. I wasn't... I, I had too much anxiety, so I wasn't able to really think and process what was going on. I had some base intelligence and some base, you know, dexterity skill, uh, which made other people see me as a good player. Um, but it really was just a, a, the product of tons and tons of time put in. Lots of, you know, rage quits, rage kills, which anybody who's watched any of my... Um, Really, any of my Let's Plays has seen that uh, that still goes on to this day, so... I'm not going to be grabbing any of the bonuses. I've never gotten all seven Chaos Emeralds even once. I'm not going to try it this time, um, because, uh, you know, I'm not going to get it, I don't think. And uh, it would just be a waste of 50 rings, which potentially could be contributing to uh, more lives or more continues. I forget how that works. I think you just have to collect... Like, every so many points you collect, I think you might get an extra continue, which is like an extra two or three lives or whatever, so that's, you know, enormous. That could make the difference uh, between me beating the game and me not beating the game. Another game uh, that I absolutely love playing through, and I can play through over and over, uh, which, you know, maybe I'll do that. Hopefully I'll do that on this channel at some point as well, uh, is Act Racer. After you beat the main game... Oh, no. Fuck. Forgot about that. Um, yeah, this, this part itself like i died on a lot as a kid i mean you can get squished by these blocks you can drown so easily you can just get like so like tilted and frustrated because uh you keep falling off here or you keep falling off the moving platforms in the next part and this boss the boss of level two i would say is one of the harder bosses in the game because it has a death pit um uh anybody who knows this game at all like probably understands why i didn't bring tails because Tails can get you killed in bosses like this, where there's a, oh fuck, where there's a death pit. Because tails will hit the boss and then set the boss into iframes. Oh, 100 rings. Yeah, I think 100 rings might also get you a free life. So yeah, definitely gonna be aiming for those 100 ring free lives. Uh, but yeah, the tails will like hit a boss, send them into iframes, and then. You know, you're planning on landing on the boss to bounce, but the boss is just not not having that. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, this boss can fucking kill me so easily. Like, I don't even know how to reliably fucking dodge that water, if I'm being completely honest. Yeah, just die. Just fucking die. And then you can even just still die here. Like, I always wait until he's far away, because if you... If you jump to the right too quickly, the screen won't scroll. If if Robotnik hasn't left, and then you'll just like land in the pit if the platform is flipped down. So anyway, that's uh, <laughs> that's like the first major gate that I just passed. So that's good. The next one is uh, what would the next one be? Oh, that's amazing. Free continue. What would the next gate be? The lava boss, maybe. Bum, ba, da, dun, dun. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I caught up with the stupid fucking arrow. Um, this level I really like. These le uh, This level, the first and second act, are really cool. If you can stay on the top path, you never have to go down into the water. Uh, this level and the next one are definitely two more candidates for, like, easy to drown in levels. Because for whatever reason, they programmed the fucking air bubbles... Like, to be random, whether they'll sprout out of the, the air spots or not. Sometimes you're just, like, waiting, 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 and you're watching Sonic run out of fucking breath. And, uh, the air bubble just doesn't come on time, and you just drown. So that is something we're going to be aiming to avoid. I don't know if I can beat this level in an hour. I know, like, the speedrun is, like, under 20 minutes or whatever, but, like, I never speedrun it. 
Yeah, this level's done. I I'm at 10 minutes now. I have 50 minutes left. I mean, there are a lot of fucking worlds in this game. I think Metropolis Zone is World 8. That's that's usually the zone where people, like, start to feel fatigued, and then, and then it doesn't let up on you because Metropolis Zone has three acts instead of two, and each one is, like, fucking long. Okay, I'm down in the water now. <laughs> yeah, I better just take the water. Uh -uh. If I am not, like, if I'm still alive and I don't uh, beat the game by the time an hour is up, I don't know. I I might record a second episode. I guess if it goes well, I might go to the effort of stitching them together. Oh, shit. That's okay. Yeah, look at this shit, man. Like, uh... Two... One... Dude! Yeah, like, like, the, dude, the fucking gaps between air bubbles are so fucking enormous. There's a bunch of wasted time. But anyway, yeah, I don't know. I'm just fucking ranting and fucking rambling. You gotta get on that. You gotta get on the next one. Sonic has such weird momentum. It's, like, harder than fucking Super Mario Bros. 1 momentum for me. Or maybe, like, Tide. Those are both pretty fucking hard. God damn you. This music is amazing, though. Fuck off. Okay, I gotta be a little bit quiet since I'm in this hotel that I've been staying in week in and week out, uh, once a week here in Winnipeg, Manitoba, where I'm living in my car to get away from my family and friends so that I can get out of this sphere of influence and, uh, you know, quit being comfortable and actually fucking achieve my goals and fucking dreams in life, H hence the YouTube upload. Fuck off, you fucking prickbag. Oh my god. Stand here and wait for a bubble. Come on. Uh -uh. I like that sound effect. Maybe because I associate it with not dying. I feel like those can even fucking squish you. Man, these old games are no fucking joke. Okay, gotta bounce again. Boing. Go to the left so the guy... Oh! Oh shit, there's a thing here. I didn't even really realize that. Hey, I'll take it. I'll take it. Let's go. Now I can, you know, play a little more risky. Hold on. Did I just fucking, like, spot jump off the water? Was that a frame trick, or was there a, a floor that I, that I just don't remember? There's a quick kill on this boss where you can, like... Oh, God. Ah, oh, I hate when you go to fucking spin dash, but you're on your tippy toes, so it doesn't do it. Oh, my God. Okay. Robotnik... Like, all the bosses in this game, other than the final Robotnik, take eight hits to kill. The, uh, shit. The final one takes 12, which is intense, because the final one is, like, by far the hardest boss in the game. And, like, unless you beat it on your first try, uh, or no, I, I don't think you even can come into that boss, or you might be able to come into that boss with rings on the very first shot. Um... But yeah, most of the time you're fighting that boss with no fucking rings, so you cannot take a single hit. Um, yeah, there is a quick kill on this boss where you stand on the pillars and then spin dash. And like, if you do it just right, I don't know what you have to do right, but... I, I've been, I used to be able to do it back in the day, I never seem to be able to get it now. But you spin dash, you bounce off of him, and you land back on the pillar, and you can just literally do that eight times in a row and kill him. Uh, but I was not able to pull that off. Okay, world three done, now we're going into casino night. Let's go. Every Sonic game tends to have some kind of casino or, you know, kind of bouncy fun land level, which is always cool. Oh my god. Fucking. Yeah, going fast in Sonic, um, unless you're, like, really pro at manipulating his movement, that's an easy way to fucking uh, get one shot by getting squished by the blocks. Um, is Like, going fast is really not a pro option, usually. Like, unless you're actually a fucking super pro. Um, usually when I go fast, which is what I'm doing now, kind of rushing it a little bit, like, the, the movement you need to do in order to, like, play well and move smoothly through the, um, levels in this game is so precise. Oh, God. That, uh, yeah, usually when you're trying to go too fast, like, you don't nail it. Um, but we'll see how I do. I'm having fun anyway. I mean, this game's bringing up so many thoughts and memories uh, that it, I, I'm talking a lot, which I feel like is uh, good radio, so to speak. 
do 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 Hey, another free life. I'm f that's two free lives in a row that I wasn't really even aware of. These levels are so chock full of secrets and stuff. They're very cool levels, the way, like, there are multiple paths through every level. And, like, you can play this game a hundred times, I feel like, and still um, find things. Yeah, I put in a back order for free at, at the local, um, local used gaming store here in Winnipeg. Uh, the one where I, I, I posted a community post today showing that I got uh, Monster Hunter World new, sealed new, um, for PS4. The version with all the DLC, the Iceborne DLC. Um, got that for $30 Canadian, which is a good deal in my opinion. Um, and chatted with uh, the gentleman there at the store about, uh, about Monster Hunter for a few minutes, so that was pretty fun. Uh, I even mentioned... Uh, Poisonous Flames uh, run through of Monster Hunter World right now, where he's like getting towards the end of the um, the Iceborne DLC. He's been he's been doing quite well as far as I'm concerned. Like he seems to be, you know, with every battle I watch him do, he seems to you know get more and more uh, grasp of like the Monster Hunter mechanics and just just the kind of the way Monster Hunter expects you to play and and move against the bosses and stuff. So that's been fun to watch. So if anybody wants to watch somebody. Uh, you know, play through a, a Monster Hunter game. Someone who, like, I would say, even though he says he's only been playing this, the Souls games, the From Software games for about a year, I, I would say he's quite decently good at those games. Um, so he's got Let's Plays of those, but uh, I, you know, suggested that he try a Monster Hunter game since they also have, um, you know, excellent combat like the Souls games, in my opinion. So he took that suggestion. So if you want to see somebody like play a Monster Hunter game for the first time, who's a fan of uh, of like Dark Souls, check out Poisonous Flame. It's got like a purple flame icon for his YouTube channel. Uh, yeah, quite entertaining. I, I I find him funny, which is why I'm able to like tolerate watching him in a Let's Play. Which like some people I just find too boring or. I find their voice is annoying or whatever, but I, I find him entertaining to listen to. He's got a cheeky sense of humor, so... So, yeah. This boss can be a bitch. Like, I low-key, high-key, every key died on this boss a lot. <laughs> so, like, sometimes you just get into a bad rhythm, or you get... Like, getting tilted in every game is bad. In this game, I feel like it's really bad, because, like... It's, the game is easy if you know how to nail, like, the precise jumps. Because obviously, as everybody knows, there's literally only one button in Sonic. Uh, the old games, anyway. Like, look at this shit. I'm just not fucking nailing the, the time to jump off. And if you get stuck with, with no rings, which you lose all your rings in, like, one shot. So, if you lose your rings and you don't manage to snag any because you're already fucking tilted and you... You missed the jump for that. Oh, God. Like, is about to happen to me. <laughs> Every ring usually gets a couple bounces, so you want to, like... You want to train your eyes to, like, lock onto a ring. Oh, God. And then, uh... Oh, and I lost it. Okay. Yeah, now I gotta play carefully. Because I don't want to be the example of what I was just talking about. Me and my friends back in the day, I, I back in the days of CD burning, when CD burning was like super hip and cool, um, I, I burned a couple CDs of like Sonic the Hedgehog songs and Mega Man songs and stuff, and like, we would just like, I, I mean, this is not uh, something I would recommend people to do, because it's very illegal and very dangerous, but uh, we were stupid teenagers. Uh, I would just get like baked as hell, and we would like drive around in my car at night. And, uh, just go get shitloads of fast food and listen to video game music and other music as well. Uh, but yeah, these, these songs are just so good. Like, this whole soundtrack is just really, really good. One of the top, uh, classic video game soundtracks out there. Sounds like it's in the Mixolydian mode. Anybody who knows music out there, uh, let me know if you think I'm correct about that. Ba -da, ba -da. Dominant chord. Oh my god, why do I have to have no rings? Yay! 
Okay, life is good again. I don't know if it's this this level or the oh god. Though the next level that has a pretty hard underground section or or okay. I actually I think they both have underground sections and both of them can kind of like trip you up if you're rushing or if you don't kind of know where to go. There's like a an auto scroll section where you can get squished if you don't do the right thing. You can fucking lose all your rings in the lava and then you got to make sure to like like get a, a ring as you fucking continuously cross the lava otherwise you just die. I gotta make sure not to fucking blast myself directly into those spikes. I'll take a ring, please. Thank you. Okay, I'm not gonna bother trying to collect a lot of rings. If I was getting close to 100, I would prioritize getting more rings. Okay, yeah, here's... Yeah, here's where you can die. And watch this horse shit at the end here. Oh, God. Oh, my God. <sighs> What a fucking pile of shit. And look at that, I'm right at the beginning of the level. God, this input lag is fucking terrible on a... Okay, I, I lied at the beginning. I was just trying to hype myself up saying that... Oh, this game's not that execution heavy. Yeah, it's... Uh, I was wrong. It's it's extremely execution heavy. Oh, world 5-1. Fuck off, man. Like, dude, it... Landing in the right spot in this game is all about tiny little micro-adjustments, at least for me. I mean, I suppose if you can nail the exact fucking button press, then you're just gonna do it right, but... Yeah, anyway. Bana, bana. Oh my god. If you're on the slightest of hill, like, you just fucking fly in an unexpected direction. do 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 Being in a ball is almost always what you want to, like, be in as Sonic, which, like, if you're just running, you can put yourself into a ball at any time by pressing down on the D-pad. And, like, when you're in a ball, you kill enemies. When you're not in a ball, enemies kill you when you touch them, so... There's that. Oh! Oh, I hate that. Shit. Okay. Okay, let's go for some rings. Oh! Yeah, I, I should have gone down there last time. I forgot about the invincibility. That's, uh, that's why I died in the lava, because I was just standing there. Fucking, because that's my muscle memory, but my muscle memory is based on ha Oh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, if you don't get through that on time, you have to wait for the lava to go down, and then obviously it's nice to have, uh... Uh, there are a lot of rings I'm missing. Yeah, I, I potentially gave away a free life there, but whatever. I, I gotta keep moving. I'm at 23 minutes. I mean, I, I do want to get this game beaten uh, within an hour. Let's see how it goes. Hey, is that... Oh, is that a free life or is that a free continue? E either way, uh, I'm glad to have it. Don't fucking die before I can get a ring. There we go. Do -do 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 -do. I think this level has a longer underground section. Man, you know what has a fucking long underground section that I fucking hate and am terrible at? Uh, one of the first, I want to say it's like the second world in Sonic 1. Uh, which I have never beaten that game to this day. I find it really hard. I've tried in earnest a couple times. I think the farthest I've made it is, like, Starlight Zone. That game's just so fucking hard. And, like, if you play on the original Sega version, Sonic doesn't even have a spin dash, so you really got to be good at controlling your momentum. Otherwise, you're just, like, going down to zero speed all the fucking time. But anyway. Yeah, how's everybody doing? Hope you're all doing well. This section you can die in super easily if you don't, like, find the right path up. If you panic and keep falling into the lava. Oh. Like, if you're a little kid and you're in the... Just run right and you'll beat the level mode, you will definitely die in this little section here. Ba -na 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 -na. Oh. Missed it. Tried to jump so that I would get sprung to the right. Obviously failed at that. Please, no. Okay, so... Let's see if I can nail this. Yep. Good job, Eric. Okay, 
Let's fight. Let's fight the boss. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Run straight into the lava if you're not paying attention. So, yeah, this is a... You know, it's not an instant kill. Oh, my God. Hard to control the bounces with the fucking lag. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, why didn't I jump on his head? What the hell was I thinking? I was thinking I was fighting the desert boss where he, like, sends out a fucking... He sends out, like, a little, uh... I don't know, something that you can't attack. Like, a little robot appendage that you can't actually attack. Uh, yeah, this one, there's just a lot going on. If you get in, in a bad rhythm, or if you kill him and you have no rings left, you know, you gotta be super careful that you don't land in the lava. Okay, five worlds done. I'm at 25 minutes, yikes. I gotta do Mystic Cave Zone, and then Oil Ocean Zone, and then Metropolis Zone, and then the air, the airplane level. Oh, I think it's snowing outside, finally. Or might, I don't know what that is. It might be snow outside crazy that it's November 16th and it's the first snow we're getting here in Winnipeg. Um, yeah, so, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see. The, I mean, maybe this will just be like a fun little thing I can do. Like, every weekend I'll do an attempt at Sonic 2 and uh, I'll get closer and closer to beating it within the one hour time limit. I don't know. Sounds fun to me. I don't know if anybody will watch it, but if it... I don't know. I gotta just do my own thing and not not always worry about whether I'm gonna succeed or fail and just... Uh, those things can squish you and kill you, by the way. And you gotta be super careful uh, on the second act of Mystic Cave Zone because there's literally a fucking... Um, there's a pit you can fall down that is too like way too deep for you to jump out of. But uh, maybe should have got the checkpoint there, but oh well. Yeah, there's a pit in the second act that is way too deep to jump out of. Um, and... I think it has spikes at the bottom. I can't remember, actually. It would make more sense if it didn't have spikes at the bottom, but anyway, it's annoying. There's a pit you can die in, and... I, like, I think there's a pit that if you fall into it, um, like, you have to wait for the timer to run out to kill you in order to get out of it. Um, and the timer, like, doesn't run out until you hit 10 minutes, so it's just, like, really annoying. But anyway, yeah, so that's, that's coming up in this level here. Uh, let's hope that I don't fall prey to that. In theory, I could still beat this game on this run, like, there's only so many levels, and, like, as you can see, like, if you get a good run, you get through the level pretty fast. That's true for basically every level in the game, even, like, with the Metropolis levels. Yeah, they're longer, but if you do really well, you're gonna get through it quickly. Yeah, that is what I need to not have happen, where I just, like, go mindlessly flying into a pit. So I'm gonna have to go a little bit slow in this, in this level. Oh my god. Uh. Hey, let's get that. Let's get my invincibility. Yeah, this is the invincibility that can, like... I think it is a spike pit, and maybe it's just, like, if you have invincibility and you land in the pit, it's just gonna take you a while to die, because you have to wait for the, the invincibility to run out before you can die off the spikes or something. Um, and there might be an actual bottomless pit that's, like, totally bottom... Oh! I, I was trying to hold left to avoid that, but look, even when you're invincible, you just get fucking squished. And now I'm at the beginning of the level. Uh, whatever. Is there an upward path I can take? Oh, nope. not by doing that. Come on, get on the fucking thing. Oh, wow. Barely. Dude, every, like... Every mistake you make just, like, has such dire fucking consequences, it feels like, in this game. I don't need to do that. Ah, uh, fuck the rings. You can get squished here super easily. Okay, oh yeah, the, the squish thing is coming up up here. Oh god. <laughs> Thank god you can get out of that one. Oh my god. Uh, oh, it's this here. Yeah, if I jump and I miss that thing, and I go down that hole, 
say goodbye to your life and a bunch of time. Okay. That was sweet. Oh, okay. Fucking asshole. Oh, boy. Dun, 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 uh, uh. Can't hurt those things while they're lit up, unfortunately. There's another spot where it's really easy to get squished coming up up here with like two of those little mm, spiky things that enjoy killing you by a squish method. Hey. Yeah, I gotta be really careful throughout the rest of this level. Oh, oh, okay. Oh no, I'm at the boss. Alright, I avoided that other part. Awesome, let's get this boss. This boss can be a pain, but if you're just pretty aggressive, like, you can do pretty well. It, it's only the spikes that you have to avoid. Oh fuck, the round rocks don't hurt you. You can stand inside of him, and as long as you keep hitting him, like, technically, if you get the hits frame perfect, you won't, uh... You won't get hit by him. If you just stand inside of him, you will. Um, you will take a hit. That's why you can, like, be spin dashing inside of Robotnik at certain points, and you'll just be able to hit him over and over without getting hit because uh, you're spin dashing inside of him. So the instant he's vulnerable again, you hit him again, and, and, then, uh, and then you're safe. But yeah, there's World 6 down. <laughs> This, this world can be a pain, it can be easy to get lost in this level, it can be easy to die in the fucking uh, oil at the bottom, which kind of acts like water in Super Mario, you can jump out of it, but uh, you can also like sink in it pretty quickly. Yeah, there are a lot of tricky parts in this level. Fucking octopuses like shoot projectiles at you, which is annoying. These things you have to use as platforms, but then if you time your jump wrong, it goes up and then there's like fire underneath of it. So let's just, uh, let's just do well and not die. Let's just do that. Yeah, this is another level where, like, going full speed can really land you in some si sticky situations. Like, specifically, there's some spots where if you go fast all the time, like, you'll just get caught in a loop of, like, falling, and then you climb back up, and then you rush, and then you fall again. <laughs> Oh no. Okay, let's try this. Oh, 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 okay. I missed the... You can jump basically instantly out of a spin dash, but you have to be quick on it, because obviously Sonic moves pretty quickly. Um, so if you're, like, on an edge trying to spin dash and then leap out of, like, leap off of the edge, you gotta be really precise with, uh, hitting that jump button, like, immediately after you let go of the spin dash. Which, obviously, doing with input lag is even a little bit harder. Um, that's super not good. I don't even want to be over here. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Big time waste. Oh, of course. Ugh. Oh, my God. You get off the timing, and then nothing's happening like when you expect it to. Okay. Yeah, I stayed calm because I saw the trajectory of the ring. I knew it was going to land on me. Before my invincibility ran out. Oh my god. Okay, at least I have that. Didn't nail that other ring. Hopefully I'll get one as I get shot out of here. Come on. So many. Okay. Yeah, slow and steady probably is the move for this for really the rest of the game, honestly. I'll probably waste less time by going slow and steady, but <sighs> we'll see. Okay, I think I'm almost at the end of the level. I 
waited to shoot off my spin dash so I could hit the ring on the way through. <laughs> Sounds almost like the noise of like blowing into an empty glass bottle or something. Okay. Da -na 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 -na. Oh man, the Sega Genesis like sound chip or whatever does make some really cool sounds. Very like rich sounding synths. Uh, yeah, that basically covers it. Whether it's like a high pitch synth or a low pitch synth, like it just sounds really rich. Fucking Christ! I mean, this is some annoying shit right here. Oh yeah, if you don't time it right, you like don't even have enough fucking time to. Oh my God! Wait for it to reset. Oh, it doesn't need to reset. What the hell? Can I go under there, by the way? Yeah, like... Some of this shit really needed a little more fucking... Uh, quality of fucking assurance. Like, what the hell, man? Trying to do this? Like, go underneath things? You can die super easily? Because you don't have to get very far underneath the fucking oil to... Uh, to lose your life. Like, what the hell? So this one stays on. Have to have momentum to get to that. Oh, I reset that. Awesome. Let's just, 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 just let me live. Just let me live. Thank you. Ugh. The way they do that shit. So fucking memorization heavy. Boom. Boo doo doo. Uh, okay, this one will send me into a thing. Yep. <laughs> do 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 do. Oh, could have got that guy before he shot if I didn't hesitate. That's okay. Watch out for the spikes. Ugh. I feel like I'm not even that far from the the boss. I feel like the first one of these levels uh, is actually a little bit harder than the second level. Hopefully, no famous last words on that. Boing, boing. Do, 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 do. Oh, I should have jumped up either one of those last two. That probably would have helped. Oh, I think I'm at the bus. Uh, no, I'm not. Oh, please. Please. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. We're good. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Yeah, the last time I beat this game, I think it was actually a long time ago. So... So, yeah... I, I don't play through it very often these days, and when I do, like... I tend to get close to the end, and either I lose interest, I fall asleep because I'm playing it at night, or... Or I just, you know, die, run out of lives, I mean... Once you get low, and once you're in, like, the late levels, like, especially Wing Fortress... Oh, fuck off. Wing Fortress is very difficult, in my opinion. There's just so many ways to die. And yeah, look at that fall, how much fucking time it cost me. So I gotta go slower at 38 minutes. I mean, I guess I could just upload this in two parts, realistically. And then down the road, I could download the parts. Like, assuming it takes me two tries, or like two, over an hour to beat it. I could just upload it in two parts, and then... Okay, I need to get a ring. Uh, and then, like, down the road, I could do like I'm doing and planning on doing for the rest of my Let's Plays where I make, like, super cuts and stuff. I could just make a super cut if the run turns out to be really good or if I say a lot of interesting stuff during it. Okay. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, it's gonna shoot a laser. If, it, if the laser hits the floor... Then it lights the floor on fire. That's what you gotta watch out for. Okay. Uh, three more hits. Boing, boing, boing. Oh my god. Yeah, you could even die here if you, like, get too cocky at the end and you 
like, uh, aren't able to jump out of the oil. Because the thing is, like... Oh, God. Y you can't jump out of the oil too quickly, because then Sonic's just not ready for the next input again to do another jump. But then, like, if you just rapid hit the button, you're not going to do a long jump, because you have to, like, hold the button to do a long jump in order to actually have enough height to get out. I can go up to the left there if I want to get some shit, but I'm not going to bother doing that. Those stars are a real pain. You always gotta... Ugh, I fucking hate that shit. You always gotta watch. Oh my god. The frustration can get extreme in this game for me, because, like, there's so many things that, um... It's like you do one thing wrong, and then ten other things happen wrong that bounce you around, and you fly away the hell back out of the way. That can kill you really easily. Um, yeah, the crabs, like, honestly, like, I feel like getting past the crabs, uh, with, oh, god, um, without getting hit by them is, like, really, really execution heavy, like, I don't know how to do it reliably, to be completely honest with you, because their fucking claw is just so huge. -na 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 -na. Okay, so that's the wrong way. Yeah, this level can... or all these... Really, every level in this game can be somewhat maze-like, but the Metropolis levels in particular can be very maze-like. Okay. Boing. Okay. You can spin dash on these to make them go up faster, but then you lose control. Like, when you spin dash, you your control in midair changes. Um, I think you have more control over Sonic when you're not not in a spin dash, so that's a, an occasion where you really want to not be in a spin dash, even though it would save you some time, unless you're very confident that you're going to be able to get out of that jump, uh, you know, well. Oh my god. Why did they make this with such fucking input lag? Like, I just briefly googled it, and like, everybody on Reddit, uh, in several Reddit threads from PS4 and Switch, were like, why the hell did they do this? You can die on that. If you're not paying attention and you run that up to the top, you'll squish yourself. Oh yeah, these blocks, these blocks aren't too bad, as long as you're paying attention to the fact that the spikes come out of them in clockwise order. You get, get a feel for the timing, and then it's not too bad. So in other words, if, if the spike... If the last position of the spike isn't on the left, then you can safely jump onto it. Uh, good thing this level doesn't have a boss. Oh boy, good thing that was a, a grasshopper and not a crab. You know? This part is a maze. Like, it, there's a loop here. Like, there's a, a vertical screen loop. So if you just keep falling down that hole, you'll just fall infinitely until you figure out, like, what path you have to take to get out. <laughs> Oh, I'm at 43 minutes. Metropolis 2, let's do this. Yeah, these Metropolis levels obviously only get harder as they go as well. <laughs> let's see if I can do this. No, nope, didn't get the jump. Oh, nailed that by luck. But yeah, look at that fucking bastard. It's like a fucking boss guarding the fucking thing. Oh my god, how did I not... Okay, that's okay. Ugh. These things can be kind of tricky. They're not the worst, but... Oh. Yeah, it can be easy to fall off of them. What the fuck? <sighs> yeah, so I think I already asked this once, but how's everybody doing? What the fuck is that shit, man? Like, okay, n that <laughs> was... I don't think I've ever seen that happen. Okay, I, I just won't spin dash through here. I'll try and be really meticulous and slow. Okay, thank you. I didn't fucking fall through the level. 
Oh yeah, this is super easy to die on. If you're not, like, paying attention to the timing. Oh, well, thanks for nothing. I was trying to just make it back down into there, but... Fucking got nailed! Oh, I should have fucking slowed down. Now I gotta fucking go away and reset it. Please let it be reset. Oh my god. Can I take a different path? Yeah, now that I think about it, like... Oh my god, look at how far I am back. Now that I think about it, like, with all the effort I'm putting into this, I shouldn't, like, get rid of the... Oh, my God. Okay, don't hold left when you're coming out of that, I guess. Like, what the fuck, man? Um, it would be dumb of me to throw away a run, considering this is, like, all I'm really gonna upload this week. Oh, yeah, I was holding right there, which was a big mistake. I'm glad I didn't land... Inside of that thing, because I could have got killed. That almost killed me. Yeah, so don't fall down there. Don't fall victim to whoever's coming up here. Oh, thank God. Whew. Yeah, like my stomach uh, is getting kind of tight right now. Just take it nice and slow. Nice and slow. Uh, 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 uh. Oh! It was off screen. Like, fuck off. Yeah, if you come there with uh, zero rings, good luck getting past that guy. That steam hurts you. <laughs> Gotta climb these up into the left. Or no, that's a different part that I'm thinking of. Hey, awesome. <laughs> Fuck, there's this, like, hot young Ukrainian girl that works at this hotel that seems like she's into me. Like, we were in the elevator a couple hours ago, and she, like, just stood right beside me in the elevator, like, inside of my aura. I could fucking feel her, and I'm sure she could feel me. And, uh... I mean, typically women don't fucking do that unless they want to be in your fucking space and they want you in their space, so... That's kind of cool. I don't really know what to do about it. Um, you know, I don't know women to be, uh, thrilled about, um, dating guys that live in the car, but I guess it's a self-confidence boost, if not, uh, a little bit frustrating. Do-do-do-do. Oh, hey! Hey, luck came in my favor that time, so fucking right. Oh my god, oh my god, is there a crab? No, it's a grasshopper. <sighs> Get into my fucking meditation mode. Boing. Okay. Like, see how fucking long this level is? So you're a kid, you've tried 50 times to get here, it's three months later since you got the game, and like, you beat this, and you're like, finally I beat Metropolis Act 2, let's see what's past this, I must be close to the end of the game. And then you're like, no, no, it can't be, it's not possible, every other level had only two acts, and you're telling me the hardest fucking level in the game so far, and you're putting me in three acts? I, I want to get on top of the, um... That thing there. Please. Yeah, this... I don't know if this is necessary to go up here to to get through, but it's definitely a good path to take. I remember that. This is like the path I always uh, tried to take. Oh, boy! Do -do 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 -do. Oh, my God. Thank God for that. Okay, yeah, I slowed down. 
because I knew where he was going to be shooting. I slow down for that one too, that one too. Oh, and it's also harder to change the direction you're running while you're in uh, while you're in the ball. So that's another reason why it's good not to to spin dash up those things. So you might have to change directions quick in order to avoid a fucking starfish spike. Yeah, so I'm definitely not beating this in under an hour. We're already over 50 minutes. Oh, oh my god. Ah. Uh. Oh, that I was holding down. I don't know why he went to the right there. Obviously, I was a little bit off on my D-pad manipulation. Okay. They got like the the DJ like scratch sound in this song, which is kind of funny. Oh, uh, yeah. Don't get squished. Okay, let's go. Ugh. Calm yourself. Get a spin dash ready. Blast through them before you run out of invincibility. Oh, well that's terrible. With that guy waiting at the top and I have no fucking rings. And you got no rings for me, eh? Uh, let's try and jump off the left one. Baby! Wow! Oh, I want rings! Or invincibility or a shield, please! Oh, wow! Wow, well done, Eric. Okay, I'm gonna get up on there. What the fuck is that shit? Oh my god. Sonic the Hedgehog controls like he's like the weight of a fucking bowling ball. Like, the momentum on this guy is just so fucking dense. It's, it's like steering a ship in the fucking ocean. Like, if you want to turn a 90 degree angle, like, make sure you start it before lunch if you want it done by dinner. Okay, fuck that guy. Do, 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 do. Time your spin dash to get through him before your invincibility runs out, and also nail some rings on the way through. Uh, 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 uh. Slow and steady wins the race. Gotta go fast. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I'm gonna have to definitely wrap up my playing for this evening after this, or at least my, uh, my let's playing. Since it's past 9 o'clock now, I feel like that's a good time. I think, like, Manitoba's noise laws start at 9, as opposed to Ontario, where I'm originally from, uh, which is... Okay, the boss, don't fall down that hole. <laughs> uh, which is 11 o'clock, and I think 1 on Saturday and Sunday. I mean, it is Saturday, so maybe it's later than 9 today? I don't know. This guy I don't really know how to reliably beat without taking a hit, but as long as you come in with a few rings and you're good at recovering rings, uh, usually it's not too bad. I mean, it is nice if you... Oh, God. Okay, I might die. I mean, obviously those eggs are moving really fast, so it can be really hard to, like, time your jump. Oh, my God. Fucking stressful. Wah, wah, wah. Okay, and one more hit, but he shoots lasers now. Fuck you. <sighs> okay, now we're about to go into the wing air zone or whatever, where, like, Tails tries to follow you with the plane, but if you're moving around too fast or too weird, like, sometimes you just fall off the plane and die. Sky chase zone. But this music, I fucking love this music. I'll, I'll try and collect rings until I, um, until I lose my rings. See how many I can collect. If I... Oh, yeah, spin dashing is like a no-no. Because, like, spin dashing can just... Sometimes you need it to get out of danger or to collect rings, but, like... Um, that's one of the things that can trigger falling off the plane more easily, for sure. Oh, okay. 
Yeah, if you don't kill those turtles, they'll, like, shoot you, I'm pretty sure. Yep, 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 yep. Oh my god, I, I tried to hit jump again, but I fucking hit him. Not in, uh, not in ball mode before I could land to, to jump. But yeah, this music is, like, top tier for me, personally. Uh, staying at the top of the screen is often a, a good way to survive, but the issue with that is, like, Tails will meet you on the, the vertical plane uh, that you're on, so if you're up high and you jump, like, Tails is gonna catch you high, so it can make it impossible to land on certain enemies and kill them, but then, like, the plane dips, so you don't kill the enemy, but then the plane dips, bringing you into the enemy while you're no longer in, like, ball form. That's a thing. Oh, <laughs> the stress. Like, my stomach actually fucking hurts. That's partially from... Drinking a bunch of coffee today, too. That doesn't help. Dude, are we here? Or is this just the second phase of the level? I think we're about to go into the second phase. Oh, and you have to jump off the plane at the end. Onto this fucking bitch. Otherwise, you fucking die from that as well. This ship is, like, huge and epic looking. Like, for a game from 91 or 92 or whatever, they gave it a... Oh, shit. They gave it a good sense of scale, like... do 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 Banana. Can you get a free life from jumping on a certain amount of enemies in a row in this game like you can in Mario? I don't think so, but I can't remember for sure. Yeah, like that there, that would have been a bad height to try and land on that turtle from. I would have, like, not killed the turtle and then dipped down into him and gotten hit. Okay, so I'm at 57 minutes. This is the hardest level in the game, by the way. And it's the last level. Oh yeah, if you don't jump off that, you just die. So I'm gonna end uh, episode one here, uh, or part one here, and I'll just, uh, I'll do part two and uh, finish this game off. Uh, hopefully I can beat it. So yeah, thanks for watching part one. I'll see you in part two. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Really appreciate ya. See ya in part two, and we'll see if we can do the Wing Fortress.